There comes a time in the life of every Hummer owner when he decides he wants to bring the vehicle into its natural element so it can do what it was designed to do. That's why I took my Hummer to a quarter mile drag strip. So today we're taking the Hummer to the drag strip. Now, I think there's only about a 50% chance they're gonna let me actually run. I know that if I had a drag strip and some guy showed up in a Hummer, I would say, come on buddy, keep moving. Now the real question is, what will the Hummer run? A good fast car will do like a 12 second, 13 second quarter mile. A normal family sedan, 15, 16 second. I think the Hummer's gonna pull a 25. We only have 190 brake horsepower and something like 300 pound feet of torque, but this car weighs like 7,000 pounds. When we got to the drag strip, things were a little more intense than I expected. Okay, so there's a Hellcat behind us and those cars in front of us. This is a little bit more legit than I was expecting. Last time we showed up with my Nissan Cube and a Corolla and just ran all night. Fortunately, some of the other cars helped calm us down a little. Yeah, there's a guy back there with a uh, Solara, a first-gen Solara. You see that? It's a coupe. It look, I mean, it could be a V6, but I don't think it really matters all that much. That's good. And then it came time for tech inspection. Check all that apply. Fuel cell, no. Nitrous safety switch, no. Battery cutoff, no. Flex plate, no. Balancer, weight box slash ballast. I don't even know what that is. Fortunately, tech inspection wasn't very thorough. Well, we've just passed tech inspection here at the drag strip, which consisted of the following. The guy walked up and said, is that a diesel? No. He said, that's a real Hummer. Not one of them later ones, built for bitches. And then he said, don't run anyone over. And that was tech inspection. After that, we got in line and we were ready to race. Every car here is a heavily modded Mustang, Camaro, CTS-V. And I'm here in a Hummer, like an idiot. They've made me put on a helmet. As if they think I'm gonna run at 12. There goes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! was the Hummer's time? After a long trip around the track, I pulled up and got the time slip. 25, come on, beat 25, come on. Thank you very much. 22.2, you did it, Hummer! At 61 miles an hour! Although I was thrilled by my time, true drag racers will tell you there's only one thing left to do after setting a time. Try and beat it. And so we waited for the next run with some cars that seemed like they were a little beyond the Hummer's capabilities. Eventually, it was time to race again, but only after this. That guy ran a 14 second quarter mile in that. If he could run that in a semi-truck, I should be able to beat 22.2, so I lined up to try again. All right, here it goes. You ready, Hummer? Green! Yes! Yes! Go, Hummer, go! Go! I 
That just felt faster. That felt faster. I'm thinking 14.5. Why am I still wearing my helmet? Be under 20, be under 20, be under 20, be under 20. Thank you very much. 21.608, ladies and gentlemen. That is the time of a victor. I mean, yeah, it's not under 20, but I got a second off my old time, which tells you one thing. Last time, I was pretty bad. And so we ended our night. The Hummer's best time was 21.6 seconds at 63 miles an hour. More importantly, we've learned something. That the Hummer is a bad drag racer? No! We learned it's zero to 60 time, which is about 21 seconds. If you're ever behind me on a highway on-ramp, I'm sorry. <laughs>